This is the vernier caliber. This is the vernier ruler. Okay. Again, this is just one of uh, uh, asynchronous assignments on how to use a ruler. Really has nothing to do with the small check, a small inspector, but you have to go through engine fundamentals uh, first. So we're talking about the vernier caliber on measurements. So, okay, this is a lectude also. We use our lectude for asynchronous assignments. So, okay, what we got here is the vernier ruler. Now, this is important. Understand this. The ruler it says, click on the ruler. This top part is in whole numbers. Okay, this represents whole numbers, and that's the ruler. The vernier ruler, we just said millimeters and tenths of a uh, millimeter and tenths, measure in tenths, is here. So this is the ruler, understand this, this is the ruler, this is the vernier measurement. I can say vernier, the vernier ruler also. This is an adjustable one, this is fixed. It's gonna be very important to remember. Now look at this, how to read this. This is what you're having trouble with in class. In class you're having problems with this one, understanding this. So I'm gonna explain it to you. It says here, find the hash mark on a ruler that perfectly aligns with a lies just to the left of zero. Hash mark of the sliding vernier. This is the vernier here. This piece right here is the vernier. Okay, this is the whole numbers. It says, this is the whole millimeter measurement. So look, you find, go to the vernier caliber, the vernier ruler first, which is here. The zero. What lies left on it? See this? This is a, these are whole numbers. I'm gonna count this first. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whole numbers. So it says find the number left of this vernier zero, 10, and look at this. See the vernier measurement here? What's closer to this on the left of it? It's this one, 11. You fit, so you fit 11 in the box. Oh my God, find my thing here. Now this is what I did by mistake. I put this in the box and watch what happens. It's wrong. All right, the reason why I put the whole number in it, it just says the whole number. That's all they want, to the nearest whole millimeters. That's all they're looking for. So I take this out, and it's to the 11, and we have it. Let's go to the next one. It says now, click on the hash mark on the vernier, which is this one again. Remember, this is the vernier measurement. Vernier measurement is this. Click on the hash mark on the vernier that perfectly aligns to the hash mark on the vernier ruler. Okay? So, we're gonna look for a perfect alignment. Let's start over here. The perfect alignment's gotta line up with this and this. The whole number and the vernier number. It's gonna just keep looking until we see something that perfectly aligns. Look at this, that's close, so it's not perfect. It's close, but it's not perfect. See this, this is perfect alignment here. Let's keep looking. So we have the zero, so this is the best one here. Click on that one, and that's good. So we did the whole numbers measurement on the ruler, and we did this one, the vernier alignment on the ruler. So these are the whole numbers and the vernier. Next one. Now, how many millimeters does the vernier caliber indicate? So let's do it again. So we got, here's the zero, go to the left. You got 10, 11. So you put 11 in there. 
point the alignment here. Oh, it's not two no more. So we gotta find let's find the alignment. See? Oh, I thought they moved. It's still two. Alright. Now look at this. This is in the middle. Look at this. It's in the middle. So look at this. These are, now go over to this right here. It says, look from the left to the right in a zero hash mark. Find the variant hash mark that perfectly aligns with the ruler hash mark. The value indicated on the variant slide is the value of tenths of a millimeter after the decimal point. After this decimal point, if it, so it's tenths of a millimeter. So look, so you can go here, right? You know what? I made a mistake on this one. What was that? Oh no, I didn't. I thought I, I, thought I made a mistake. Okay, so it's so look, we got here. We got eleven. We got eleven there. So look at the numbers now. This is just, on the Vernier caliber, we got two before it lines up to this one. So you want the number to the left of it after it lines up. So it lines up here, we want the number to the left. The nearest number to the left on the Vernier caliber, which is two. So you're gonna put the two here, and we're gonna put two in the box here. Now we're gonna start counting. It's in tenths. Like I said, value of tenths of a millimeter. This is one tenth, two and one tenths. I think I said that right. That's good. That's, that's actually a hundreds. So this is actually, a, so I just said that I think I said that backwards. Now I said, this one says, how many millimeters does the Vernier caliber indicate? So you're going to, let's do it again. Now I want this one, the whole number now. See there's zero here. And we got 10, 11. So we put the 11 here first, and decimal. Now, keep remember, the, ne the next measurement is tenths. These numbers here are in tenths. The one in between is, is 0 0.05 millimeters. Okay, so this is tenths. These are in tenths. The one in between is points, 0 0.05 millimeter measurement. So, let's go here again, we got 11. Let's find out the perfect, we said this one lines up perfectly. So to the left of this one is a two, two tenths. So we're gonna put two tenths here. Now, let me see. Oh, you got one over. I'm sorry. I got lost for a second. So it's two. We got one over. Five. All right, 0 0.05 millimeters. So you're going to put a five right there. And we got it good. Let's go to the next one. So understand that again. These are the whole numbers. This represents zero. The first thing we're going to do, find a zero on the uh, find a zero on a vernier, vernier uh, ruler. It's 11. Then we're going to find the tenths. I'm uh, sorry, no. First, the, the second thing we're going to find the perfect alignment, which was here, and the vernier and the whole ruler, which was here. Then we're going to find out the tenths to the left of this, which is the two. Then we're going to count over. 0 0.05 millimeters. So it's one over, so it's five. So we got 11.25 millimeters. Let's go to the next one now. Uh, this one's a little different now. So we're gonna 
use the ruler you're going to measure I like to see you move it back and forth see it stops see it stops now watch now what we got to have now how many um, how many millimeters does the vernier caliber indicate find a zero first step again what was it find a zero what's left of the zero what's left of that zero i should say is 50. so we're gonna put the 50 in the box here put your decimal 50 point now we're going to find the temps no we're going to find a perfect alignment first on the vernier caliber i mean vernier ruler That was close, but look at this. This is much better. Anything else? No, we right here. Five. Now look, we right on the five tenths. We're not in the middle of anything else. That's perfect right there. So we're gonna put five tenths and zero. We're gonna check it. Uh oh, what do you think I did wrong? All right, I forgot to lock it. Now I'm gonna check it again. I had to lock it. Let's go to the next one. I'm gonna move this one out. See, see, I like I like this because it stops for you. See, right there. Lock it. Find a zero on a vernier caliber is zero. Now look at this. We know I left this 40. So how much is each one is worth? So how much is each worth now? Since they hold numbers, let's check it. Look at this 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. A whole number is in 1. So if that's true, this is 40. And look at this vernier. 0 closer to it is 39. So we're going to put 39 here. And decimal. All right, so that's 39. Now we're going to find the alignment on the Vernier ruler. That's right here. I don't see anything else closer. So that's probably my best shot here. So what's, here's, the, here's the perfect alignment here. See this top one, the bottom one? Perfect alignment. What's the number to that one? It's two. All right. Now, that's two tenths. Now we got to do this. Two, what's the line right? Two, five point zero five millimeters. So it's five. Let's see if we got that right. There we go. Let's go to the next one. Depth gauge. Go down to the gauge, stops. They stop there. We're going to tighten it. We're going to find a zero on the Vernier ruler, which is zero here. And it stopped. The number to the left of that is, oh, what's this? 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4. That's 35. 35 point. Now we're going to find that alignment. Ooh, right here at 10. 10, 10 millimeters. Let's see anything else here. No, I think that's it. That's, oh, that's a zero here. <laughs> I thought it was going to be that one, but that's zero. Set 10, so 1.0. Perfect alignment. Check it. Ooh, I made a mistake. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Let me see. Did I tighten it? I think I tightened it. Okay. okay, let's try that again. I made a mistake somewhere. Did I count them? 39, 38, 37. Oh, it's right on 36. 
and not all to the left or right. That's a mistake I made. Look, see, it's right on 36. Okay, it's not even left or right. It's right on 36, not 35. That's a mistake I made. Oh, okay. I just still at 10, so let's check it out. There we go. <laughs> I did that on purpose for you. <laughs> let's go to the next one now. Oh, that's it. Okay, hope that I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave a if you have any questions, leave in the comment section or accent in class. Peace. I'm out.